What's going on everyone? So LOL Miner 1.5 drops a bomb. So yes, this is another 100% LHR unlocker, just like we've seen with MB Miner, G Miner, and T-Rex. But this one is probably the lowest dev fee of them all at 0.7%, where the others are at 1%. And the bomb that really sets this thing apart is dual mining allows 100% LHR unlock as well. So we're going to be looking into dual mining and comparing that versus not dual mining to see if Tong coin is worth it in today's market. All right, so we are back in our good old friend Hive OS. And the first thing you are going to want to do, just like every other miner, because Hive OS has not yet released this, you're going to start your flight sheet with LOL miner. Come into the Discord because, again, YouTube will edit my link. So I cannot post it here or it'll be wrong. There's no point in posting it. You'll just get errors and it won't work. So in the description is a link to Discord. Go to the general and just hit the little pin icon up top. Copy the command. And then we'll just go right back into LOL Miner. Hit the little run command here. Paste that straight in. Hit the run command and it will update Hive OS to that latest LOL miner. It will restart and you'll see 1.5 public beta. So we are now on this beta. So I'm going to let this run uh, just doing normal. I got a defect segment only one. So we should be OK here. That is your memory overclock. So you may have to turn it down a little bit if you see that within LOL miner. But I'm going to let this run and we're going to get some hash rates here and compare that to NB and T-Rex. Everything seems to be fairly close to the same hash rates. But we're going to get a power consumption reading and then start dual mining some Tong coin and see how much extra power that uses and, you know, what our actual hash rate is. So it looks like we're sitting at about 46.6 mega hash. Now an MB miner, T-Rex and G miner, I was upwards of around 47.2 mega hash or so. So... The hash rate is slightly down. It may just take a little more time to pick up, but this is some nice basis here. My settings are 1425 on the core and 2600 on the memory. This is a nice efficient setting to use on your 3060 V2s. For wall power, we are using 244 watts. My system is 22 watts. Take that away, that's about 222 watts, and divide that by two, that's about 111 watts per GPU. So we kind of got some numbers going together for mining Ethereum directly. I'm going to set up some Tongcoin dual mining, and we're going to see how much extra power we use, how much our profitability is looking like by dual mining Tongcoin, and if it's even worth it in today's market. So here I have my Tongcoin dual miner all set up. So I'm just going to kind of run through it right quick in case you're unsure how to dual mine Tongcoin. So if you go into the miner itself, you simply go to the dual coin and you select Ton from the drop down. Obviously, you have to have your wallet already implemented in here. There's tons of guides on it when mining any crypto within Hive OS. Everything is saved for future flight sheets. But you're going to pick your Toncoin wallet address, and then you're going to want to pick your pool. Initially, when you first click on this, it's going to say configure in the miner. So you are going to want to click on it and then actually pick your individual pool. In my case, I'm going to use Whales Tom Pool. We're going to click on it again, and I'm going to use... I already have it set up, so I'm just going to cancel. But I believe I am actually using server one which is server one whales tom pool anyway you're going to update that and then engage your flight sheet by hitting the rocket ship and you should start dual mining so if we look into the miner with the flight sheet engaged it is saying ton miner compatible ton mode one it's automatically added into here and looking back at the readme it does say it will not begin any type of ton coin hash rates within about a minute after that DAG was generated. So you are going to have to wait a little bit of time before you start noticing any type of Tongcoin hash rates. We can still see ETH hash rates. Actually, the Ethereum hash rates just came in, but Tongcoin is still looking in the zeros. Just hang in there, wait it out, and it will begin mining after at least a minute. All right, so a little bit of time has gone by, and you can see we're at 46.04 mega hash and 47.03 mega hash. So we actually gained a little bit on one GPU here. Again, they both may equal out at 47 mega hash after some time goes by. But we are at slightly above one giga hash. Now I could increase my core clock and stuff just to get a little better hash rates potentially on Tongcoin, but I'm just going with these efficient settings. I know I might do some tweaking later on. But let's take a look at our actual power. 
We're currently sitting in the high 307s to a potential 308. So we're going to go with 307 watts here. And at 307 watts, we subtract our 22 and then subtract our 222 from what we have here. We're using an additional 60 watts, getting 2 giga hash on these two GPUs. So let's take a look at the coin's price and if it is worth dual mining in today's market. So based on Wales Ton Mining Pool, we're getting 0 0.1737. Now, way back when, when Ton Coin first became mineable, and I believe there's only like a month, maybe two month tops left on mining Ton Coin, but we're sitting at 0 0.737 right now when it used to be 0 0.44 or so per gigahash. And this was a fairly accurate calculator, so we're going to go by it. So 0 0.1737 Ton. Now, the price of Ton Coin is currently sitting at $1.42. So if we take a look at how much we're actually making, we're gonna times that by two because we're utilizing two giga hash. That is 0 0.3458 Tong coin that we're actually mining. At the current price of Tong coin, it does look like we are making about 49 cents per day do a mining Tong coin. So this is just the Tong coin that we're making extra. So 49 cents is extra profitability on top of the Ethereum mining. Based on power at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, we're using about 14 cents of power every single day utilizing 60 watts. Now, 10 cents seems low with the current markets, like people are paying anywhere from 14 and depending where you are, upwards of like 35, 40 cents per kilowatt hour. So it's insane, 10 cents is pretty low and not too many people are on that, but some people are running, you know, really, really cheap power. Anyway, 14 cents. So we're gonna subtract that at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. We are making 35 cents extra per day after power dual mining Tong coin. So you're getting the extra 35 cents on two 3060 version two LHR GPUs. Well, there we have it guys. So LOL miners fully LHR unlocked plus dual mining is now a thing. So these are just my numbers based on two single 3060 version two GPUs, obviously 3090s, 3080s, 3070 Ti's, all the other GPUs will perform better and you may get better performance. I could overclock my settings a little more. We might find a better hash to watt ratio or something, but overall I probably will not be dual mining personally myself. I don't know what Tong coin has in the future. It may do something great. It might not. I have no idea. But as I know, for any little extra power I use, it can throw my power into a higher price bracket. And it means profitability across these coins is coming down. Right now, we're in turmoil times, a massive bear market. We really want to get the highest hash to watt ratios as possible so that you're not wasting too much power. As a miner, power is your biggest expense. So as much as you can mitigate that expense, the better off you will be. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't seen one of these, be sure to check them out. And if you already seen them, Maybe you missed some, might have to watch it one more time. And if you just let it play in the background, that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.